In this video, we are going to learn how, how to get top 5 most selling books. Before getting started, I would like to thanks to all of you for supporting my work that pushes this series too far. But I guess it's a good time to put this series to end unless there is some critical bug or something like that. Actually, I'm saying it for third or fourth time. I think it's enough for the learning purpose. If you are sincerely following the series and implementing the code, at this point, you must have the enough confidence to build any basic label .NET application. Now, you can take this application further. You can add few features like review and rating system, or you can integrate the payment gateway, and you can also add the system like tracking the shipment. It will be a nice portfolio application for you. Now let's move to the coding part. First and foremost, open the SQL Server Management Studio, create a new stored procedure with name USP underscore get top and selling books by date, which takes two parameters, start date and end date of type date time. Now set no counts on, write this query. Here we are joining the tables order and order details where order dot is paid equals to one and order dot is deleted equals to zero and order dot create date should between start date and end date and that will be the condition we will group this query by od dot book id and select the field od dot book id and sum of od dot quantity as total units sold we also need to display a few more columns like book name, author and image, which cannot be achieved by this single query. So we are going to convert this query into a CTE named unit sold. Now join the CTE and the book table order by total unit sold descending and select top five records with column book name, author name, image and total unit sold. Now execute this query which will create a stored procedure we also need to set is paid equals to one you can also do it from admin panel but it will take more time you can find this query from the readme.md file from my github repository now open your web application inside the dto directory create a new file named top and sold book model.cs Add the namespace at the top, create new record, top and sold book model with property book name, author name and total unit sold. I'm using record just for the fun, not for any specific reason. You can also use the class instead of record, create another record, top and sold books VM with these properties. Now create a new file named reports repository inside the repository folder create the namespace create the class book repository now create the constructor and inject the application db context create a new async method get top and selling books by date which takes two parameters start date and end date of type date time and it returns the enumerable list of top and sold models type now create a parameter for start date and end date from dotnet 8 we can use context.database.sql query raw method to execute the query that returns the complex object we are going to use this method to execute our stored procedure which returns us top five most selling books store the result into a variable named top five sold books and return it at the end now inherit the class with i report repository yes this interface does not exist so press ctrl plus period symbol and select generate interface I report repository copy the name and signature of the method and paste it to the interface now open the program.cs file and add this service to di container inside the controllers directory create a new file named reports controller.cs add some boilerplate 
update the namespace and name of the controller create the controller and inject the i repository service create the controller method top five selling books with optional parameter s date and e date of type date time add the try catch block in the try block create a new variable date time start date if s date is not null then its value would be s date otherwise its value would be date time dot utc now dot add days minus seven which means seven days before the current date now add another variable date time and date if e date is not null then its value would be e date otherwise its value would be current date so by default we will retrieve the data of past seven days call the underscore repository dot get top and selling books by date method pass the arguments and store it inside the top five selling books variable of var type create the instance of top and sold books vm pass the needed arguments to it and store it inside the variable vm of var type return view with vm inside the cache block set error message and return the redirect to the index method of home controller now create a view for this method at the top at the line at the red model top and sold books vm at the heading now check if model is not null and if it's not null then inside the if block add a div inside this div create a form element with asp action top five selling books and method get when we submit this form we will redirect it to the top five selling books method with the parameters s date and e date add to input text element of type date with name as date and e date now add submit button at last we will create a link button with the title clear we will call the top five selling books without any parameters so that we can clear out the filters add this line which will tell us how many days of data we are showing now check if model dot top and sold books dot count equals to zero then display the message no records found else display the records in the table and we need to remove these attributes because we do not need them Now open the admin layout.cshtml file and update the link of top selling items. Open the reports controller, add the authorized attribute with the property roles equals to name of roles.admin and roles.admin is a constant here which we have defined. Run the project and log in with admin account. Go to the dashboard and click on the link top selling items. These are top seven most selling books in the past seven days. You can also filter the records by date. So that's it for now. See you next time.